Hey there, this is Lucius the Frown Boys from ENG Suite, and today we're going to continue our basic talk on user-defined functions, and we're just kind of clearing up some of the basics here. And today we're going to learn about public versus private functions. So as you can see on the side here, we have two different modules. And sometimes you want to break them up based on things that uh, are different from each other, but you might need to use them elsewhere. And that's great practice. You want to keep these as small as possible, as broken up as possible, uh, loosely coupled, right? All right, so in here I've made three functions. A public function called Lucius, which returns Lucius. A private function called Laframboise, which returns Laframboise. And a function called Howard. It doesn't have public or private. So, and that returns Howard. And this is really going to show us something kind of interesting. Um, this is not good practice. I know I did it in the other ones. But the reason I did was I was trying to save this for a video once we know what functions are. Okay. Let's go in and take a look. So we want to call these functions from over here, right? We're going to actually get rid of this, and we're going to have these names pull from it, okay? So instead of plus name, we'll just run Lucius. So if you ever want to call a function, you can just do Lucius, or your function name, I guess. Parentheses, put in any parameters that go into it. And now we're going to hit save, and let's see what happens if we do a greeting. Hello, Lucius. Nothing in there. Awesome. All right. Now, let's go in here and let's do Laframboise. So this is our private function. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Sub or function not defined. So it doesn't know Laframboise because Laframboise is actually over here. Okay. Now what happens if we have function it just function nothing else all right let's try Howard and we are currently debugging so when you get that hit that reset button that little stop button now try oops dang it I caused another error stop save all right hello Howard okay so now we know if you call it private it won't be seen but if you don't it'll be public we want these to be public so we're going to put it in there just because that is good practice. You want to always be declaring everything. Um, that way anybody looking at your code and even yourself will know what you're trying to do. Okay. So what would be the point of a private function then? Can we use it on a on the worksheet? Well, we have Lucius. No Lafron boys in. We have Howard. Okay, so we can't use it on the on this worksheet. So why would we ever want to use a private function well it really comes down to minimal permissions whenever you're making anything you're programming you want to give everything as little permissions as possible and keep everything as separate as possible so that it functions better without everything else so if this is a function that is let's say used in here like let's say we do plus laframboise right let's see what happens we're gonna come back in here and we're going to use it in here. Watch this. This is cool. Okay. So we're calling Lucius, which now should return Lucius and Laframboise. Let's take a look. Hello, Lucius Laframboise. Awesome. Look at that. So the reason we use private is you should default to private if you don't need to use it outside of the module it's in. That just keeps things a little bit cleaner, a little bit more separate, and it's good practice. So now I hope you know the difference between your pub your public and your private functions, and you know that make sure you declare everything that way you know what's going on. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.